my sacred mission is to create the perfect society. He didn't want to make things perfect. He just hated things the way they are. I want you all to know that I am grateful to fight beside my friends. Incinerate them. You're watching Black Tree on TV. Good. How's it going? Pretty good. Can't complain. Can't mm -hmm. complain. I got to see the movie. Really enjoyed it. You two really give incredible performances. Um, and you know, you both serve as the antagonist of the film, essentially. And I know as an actor, you can't really judge the characters that you're playing. What kind of what kind of work did you both do to not judge, you know, your character, especially the high evolutionary? He's <laughs> he's a pretty despicable character. <laughs> he is. I, I I leaned into the opposite of judging and 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 embraced it big time and said, look, this guy's a villain. I mean, often, certainly in in, in this universe and stuff, where villains are sort of we lose the sight of them as villains because we're trying to find a way of making them sympathetic. You know, but that was something that James and I knew we weren't gonna do with this guy. We were gonna like write it to the end, and if there is any sort of redemption, it should be almost be um, a, um, accidental or or because we're all humans and flawed and stuff, as opposed to me striving to draw that from the audience. So I I really enjoyed committing to the zealotry and to the 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 narcissism and the single-mindedness of the character. And, and as extreme as that seems, when you think of some of the most horrific figures in human history and stuff, there is a sense of zealotry and mm. narcissism and single-mindedness. So I, I actually, as James told me right at the start, he said, ground this character. And I grounded him in that, in that way, yeah. Your friend once took advantage. I learned my lessons. I aimed some small part of my mental capacity back in my own direction, and now gravity itself serves my whims. You must find Counter-Earth familiar. Counter-Earth? I visited your planet many years ago. Earth hasn't been my planet in a long time. Your people had wonderful spirit. Mm. The art and music and literature were some of the finest in the universe. Earth would be a fabulous place were it not for the ignorance and bigotry. Okay. It inspired me to create counter -earth. I don't care. All of the good and none of the bad. I don't need another speech by some impotent whack job whose mother didn't love him rationalizing why he needs to conquer the universe. I'm not trying to conquer the universe. I'm perfecting it. Yeah, and for me it was a little bit different, I guess, because, you know, Adam kind of existed in this sort of grey zone, you know, between antagonist and protagonist, and, and much of the movie is about him trying to kind of plot his own journey, uh, you know, on the kind of moral compass and, and find out, um, you know, what side of good and bad he wants to kind of be on um, in, in uh, what is kind of a, a, a stage of infancy, you know, uh, having just kind of emerged from his cocoon. Definitely. Um, and with that, Will, you know, it's, Adam is, uh, like you're saying, kind of like a child um, in this movie. And I kind of went back and was looking at filmography and, you know, Son of Rambo, for example, where you're playing um, Lee. Do you think that Lee and uh, Adam would get along? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I actually think I, I think Lee Carter would, would get Adam into a lot of trouble. I, I yeah. don't know whether yeah. uh, Adam would uh, end up on... Uh, the, the right side of the tracks if uh, if he hung out with uh, Lee too long. But then Lee's got a good heart, I guess. Oh, he is. Um, Lovely kid. So, you know, he's on his own journey as well, I suppose, um, as, as, you know, young people kind of uh, all go on. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey! Where did you go, squirrel? On the ground! And this is uh, 
this is James' third film, obviously. Uh, Chuck, you've worked with him before. Uh, this is your, your first time. First time well, what is it about James as a director that separates him from the rest of the directors you've worked with? He's, uh, well, we all know the qualities he has. He's subversive, he's original, he's mm. unpredictable. But I think for me, what James, uh, what, what he has that stands him apart is that he, he writes from such a human place. I know that sounds obvious, but it's, he's, he's really looked into himself, he's looked into life, he's looked into people he loves, he's looked into people he doesn't, and he brings them, he finds these characters in this pop culture and brings them in. He wants to bring the outsiders in and stuff. So there's a, he has a surprise, he has a way of surprising you with humanity. I think mm -hmm. of countless moments in the Guardians movies. I think of moments like in, you know, when he does something like Suicide Squad and has a father and daughter on top of a clock tower before the dad ODs, you know, in that, in the middle of all that, his ability, Yando dying, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. I just don't know anyone else who can make you laugh and instantly make you cry so effortlessly and still be completely true to the character's arc, you mm -hmm. know, at the same time. Mm -hmm. So he's unique. I would say, I guess he's unique in his humanity, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's also a boldness and a confidence. Subversive. And a he's like, he's, he's a rocker. To do that. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. To be punk. And yeah, to, yeah. To, 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 to meddle with convention and do it with such confidence that I, I admire massively. And I think one thing we spoke about as actors quite a bit is it's incredible to come across someone who is simultaneously so organized, structured, and prepared, and yeah. then also afford his actors the opportunity to play and improvise and express themselves. Like yeah. to, to have both things at once is, I mean, rare, rare, rare. He's the only director I've worked with that after you've done it and got the shot and you know you've got the shot and whatever says to you, okay, now do whatever you want. And that yeah. do whatever you want genuinely could be the take that you end up with. Yeah. He's ready to find out more, you mm. know? Right. Yeah. Great. Um, again, it was a pleasure seeing both of you in the movie. It was a, it was a pleasure talking to you too. I hope you soon enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, Thank you Jamie. so much. Too. Take care, mate.